Combi D was a phase three trial uh, launched um, a little over three years ago now um, that was uh, evaluating for the first time a BRAF MEK combination versus BRAF inhibitor monotherapy in patients with advanced melanoma, metastatic largely, um, who harbor V600 BRAF mutations. Um, about 45% or so of the advanced melanoma population has those mutations. So in previous studies, we've learned that BRAF inhibitor monotherapy improves survival and progression-free survival and response rate compared to historically standard chemotherapy. Um, so with that established, um, the next question is, was, was how to try to build on that approach. And really the logic of combining a BRAF inhibitor and a MEK inhibitor comes from a couple of um, origins. One is that we know that a MEK inhibitor monotherapy is efficacious in this exact same patient population. One MEK inhibitor, trametinib, um, was in fact found to be superior to conventional chemotherapy in exactly this V600 BRAF mutant population and was FDA approved as monotherapy. So Vemuraf and Imidabrafinib were the BRAF inhibitors that were individually um, shown to be superior to chemotherapy and approved and then again trametinib um, as a MEK inhibitor. So three drugs, but targeting two different targets. Um, so a lot of work had been done regarding resistance uh, to BRF inhibitors and showing that at least at the time that tumors escaped um, and patients had disease progression, that commonly the pathway, the so-called MAP kinase pathway in which BRAF and MEK both reside, was reactivated. Um, and it was hoped that if you targeted BRAF um, and had that happen, um, that you could use a MEK inhibitor to potentially prevent it or, or block it. Um, so that was really the concept. Um, based on the translational findings uh, that really um, underscored uh, this phase three clinical trial. Uh, importantly, uh, at this ASCO 2016, um, we, from a clinical uh, data perspective, we're presenting three-year follow-up data, so we have minimum follow-up of three years. Um, but we've previously reported already um, that this trial was positive for its primary endpoint of progression-free survival and statistically significant improvement in overall survival as a secondary endpoint.